Hi, and thank you for watching this AppsFlyer IBM UBX configuration tutorial. AppsFlyer is the leading mobile advertising attribution and marketing analytics platform, allowing app marketers to measure the end-to-end -end performance of their marketing campaigns across 2,000 integrated networks and channels like Google, Facebook, Twitter, and many more, all from a single real-time dashboard. AppsFlyer's 10,000 customers include Jet, Under Armour, Macy's, Foursquare, and DocuSign. AppsFlyer is a software as a service and SDK solution. When a user installs an app, AppsFlyer's SDK collects various parameters about the install, such as the device identifiers and the source of the user. After an install, AppsFlyer's SDK can collect data about in-app events, such as how many times a user opened the app, and conversion events like purchase and subscription renewal. All of this data is available for analysis in the AppsFlyer dashboard, enabling app marketers to manage and optimize their marketing budgets. AppsFlyer's integration with IBM UBX enables mutual clients to share mobile app events with UBX and expand their IBM Journey Analytics insights and other services across IBM Commerce Solutions and partners. Here are the required steps for configuring the AppsFlyer IBM UBX integration. Open the UBX Pilot and go to the Endpoints tab. Click Register New Endpoint, Choose AppsFlyer Native Track and click Next. Click Next again and go back to the Endpoint screen. A new endpoint has been provisioned in Pending Status. Click on the three dots to the right side of the endpoint. Click on Endpoint Details and copy the authentication key. On AppsFlyer's dashboard, go to the Media Source Configuration page. Search for IBM and open the Configuration page. Paste the authorization key copied earlier from the AppsFlyer UBX endpoint. Check the Enable box and click on Save and Close. Open the Configuration page and click Connect. A one-time call has been fired to UBX to activate the AppsFlyer endpoint. Go to the UBX and refresh. Now the endpoint is active. From this moment on, all app installs are sent to UBX. To send an app open and purchase events as well, Go back to AppsFlyer's dashboard and open the In-App Events tab. In the Send In-App Events to IBM window, choose Send All Events. Paste the authorization key. And now map the App Open event and the Purchase event on the left to the IBM predefined events on the right. If you want to send revenue data for the Purchase event, check the Send Value box. Click on Save and Close. And now, install, app open, and in-app purchase events are sent to UBX. Now we need to map the AppsFlyer event to a destination endpoint in UBX. Go to the Events tab in UBX. Click on Subscribe to Events. Choose AppsFlyer and AppsFlyer Native Track Standard. Choose the events you want to send. Choose the destination endpoint. And in this example, we will send the events to both a Journey Analytics endpoint and a UBX test destination endpoint. Now the AppsFlyer UBX configuration is ready. Here's an example of a user flow. A user installs an app on their device Every time a user launches the app, an app open event is sent to UBX. The click button in this test app is simulating an in-app purchase event that is also sent to UBX. That's it! You are now ready to unleash the power of omnichannel marketing with UBX and AppsFlyer mobile app data. For any further assistance, please send an email to support at appsflyer.com. Thank you!
go to the UBX screen and refresh. Now the endpoint is active. 